My name is Milana Prakash and I'm an incoming PGP student at IIM Ahmedabad. I'm a mass media graduate and a published author of three books. Now, I know this sounds really fancy, but uh, trust me, I had a pretty normal profile, nothing very outlandish. But uh, I'm here to be talking about uh, my journey to IMA and also uh, how you can, you know, with your profile, make the most out of it and, you know, how you can also land up to your dream institute just the way I did. series is going to be called CCC which is Catalog to Cracking the Cat. So now before we start I'd just like to introduce myself. Uh, like I mentioned earlier I'm a mass media graduate. I have 20 months of work ex with The Economist Group and I was a former intern with Disney Plus Hotstar and Star TV and Bennett Goldman. To be more precise Mumbai Mirror. I studied at the University of Mumbai. I'm pretty average at math and uh, I've had my fair share of mental health struggles but despite that I think I'm very proud of myself uh, about the fact that I've made it to IMA and if I could do it then you can do it too. I would like to talk about my cat preparation journey. The first thing is I'm a cat veteran. This is my third attempt at taking the cat and uh, when I first took the cat that was in 2019 I scored a percentile of 88 and uh, this was a time when I didn't really study I'd just gotten my job. I didn't really focus on my preparation. Uh, I got a call from IM Cody Code for LSM but I did not uh, attend the interview because uh, you know I wanted to focus on my work. The next year, that is 2020, I took the cat again and this time I did study a bit uh, but because I was also juggling a job uh, along with my preparation, I think my preparation took a hit and my score, uh, my percentile plummeted to the 80th percentile. Uh, and after that, I did convert a few tier to schools, but I decided not to go with it. So I quit my job and I took the cat again in 2021. This time I landed up with a percentile of 97.56, which, uh, which got me calls from most IIMs. Um, and uh, I did not take the ZAT, so I can't talk much about that. But uh, I converted most of the IIMs that I got the calls from and uh, converted NMIMS in IIMT Ghaziabad and now I'm, uh, I'll be starting my classes at IIM at the time. So what really changed in my third attempt? One was that I, I decided to strategically um, change the way I approach the cat, which is something I'll be talking about in the next, vid next few videos of this series. Um, the second thing is I took a lot of mocks. I took like almost, I took over 45 mocks. And, uh, and I think I, I tried to change my, uh, my mental framework about how I was approaching the cat. So uh, when it comes to what really helped me in conversion, the first thing is that I, um, I think I have a confident disposition. I could project and exude a level of confidence in whatever I was saying. Second is I do a lot of social outreach work with, in the domain of mental health. And this is something I spoke about in my interviews. And uh, I spoke to them about how I run a mental health community and how we conduct support groups and etc. Third is of course the fact that I had a different profile. You know, there are not too many people who apply from a mass media background. And uh, in addition to that, I had a decent profile for people from my cohort. Um, and also the fact that I have published three books. Um, the fourth thing was that I had consistent academic uh, records. Of course, I was not a school topper ever. <laughs> And uh, I did top my batch in college, but uh, in school I did like, I was your average 90 percentile above person, but not your topper. And I think one thing that really, really helped me the third time was the fact that I was a veteran. The fact that I was so familiar with the way the paper progresses, that it became, it, it was like almost muscle memory for me. Uh, and I'm not recommending this to everyone, <laughs> like really, uh, ideally, I would hope and wish that you convert and get into your dream B school in the first attempt. But even if you don't, uh, it is okay to take a few more attempts. And that is something, again, I'll be talking about in the next few videos. What I'm trying to say is that because it was my third attempt, I was so familiar with how to approach the paper. And you can actually simulate this by taking a lot of mocks. So you really don't need to take three attempts at the cat. And uh, like I mentioned briefly, I've had my share of mental health struggles. Um, I have been diagnosed with a couple of mental illnesses and uh, I take help for it. Um, I go for therapy, I take my medications 
and uh, it's not easy but I think uh, it has really taught me a lot when it comes to resilience and uh, patience and I think these were values that I could really project when I was take, giving my interviews um, and I, I, I'm talking about this because I really want everyone to know that you know if you're struggling in any way shape or form uh, help is available and that with help you can actually go on to do whatever you wanted to do uh, in your life so please don't ever let your mental health dictate the terms of your life and now talking about what this series is going to be about so CCC is going to be um, for the lack of a better word uh, an average person's journey to their dream B school. Um, so the first uh, video that we'll be putting out is uh, a non-engineer's guide to cat. The second thing is that gap years aren't bad. The third thing is turning hobbies into CV points. And fourth is how do you stay motivated during your cat prep. Now these were topics that I thought I could offer my two cents on because I because of my experience in taking the cat so many times. And I hope you find these videos helpful. And if you do, please like, comment, share and subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more.